Welcome into WCSN's coverage of ASU Baseball. I'm Ben Marjot alongside Greg Cameron. And Greg, ASU Baseball has really run into an issue on Sunday afternoons. They're 0-4 against conference opponents in the series finale. And Adam McCreary really hasn't been the fix. He hasn't. The sophomore was supposed to be the sh short-term solution to the long-term problem that is Brett Lillick's shoulder, which we still don't know about. He's indefinitely out. And his downfall is losing control of at-bats early. He's hit 10 batters in his seven appearances, which is four more than any other starter has. Darren Gillies is second with four. But I like looking at the UCLA game last weekend. He barely made it out of the first inning unscathed, and he gave up four runs and only faced four batters. Yeah, Adam McCree, that was arguably his worst start of the entire year. Looking forward, Billy Young was the guy that I had kept on my radar for ASU baseball to become that Sunday starter. First start against Wichita State, only gave up two earned runs, but then he starts Sunday against Oregon, Pac-12 opponent, and 2.1 innings pitched and five earned runs, and he's not the solution either. I've been looking at Zach Miller. Zach Miller is a smart choice. He's a junior, and his last start was last Wednesday at Wichita State. He threw five innings, seven hits, one earned run, three walks. That's good, and he can improve. He's seen a lot of time in the bullpen. He's worked with pitching coach Ken Knuston, and I think that if Miller, who does well in his start against UNLV, could see time after this USC series. I would like to see Miller in the rotation. ASU Baseball and Coach Esme have decided on Alex Blackford to start Sunday against USC, and he's been kind of their reliever guy. He hasn't pitched more than two innings this year, but he did make a few starts last year, and those were okay. He did. He had a 5.77 ERA in those nine starts. Some of them were against weaker opponents, but others were against teams like Arizona and Oregon. He averages about 66 pitches per start, and that can get him about five to six innings right now based on the way the offense is going, based on the stellar play of the defense. I think he would be a great fit and I think he should do well against USC this weekend. Certainly all ASU baseball needs is a guy that can come in and eat up three, four, maybe five innings as they turn to their relief and still be in those games. Make sure you head back to Cronkite Sports for more ASU baseball news. Thank you so much for tuning in.